Hello Scratch Kitchen, how are you guys doing? Take number four. We're going to talk right quick about this imminent threat of a famine. I am 50 and I have been hearing since I was a teenager about famines are coming to Ethiopia, to Chad, to Uganda. I even bought the y'all remember there are fifteen uh the little forty fives of We Are the World and I also had Do They Know It's Christmas on the other side. Or maybe they were two different I can't remember it's been so long. That was like nineteen eighty four. I'll leave you a link to them. Every pop star from the eighties came together to do this. One time. That was it. That was all. And here we are, 30 simulators, we still have famine problems. Now, my complaint about this isn't just that we still have ways. We've always had this threat. We always have. And as long as these psychotic asshats remain in government and in organizations like, um, UN, well now it's useless nuts. NATO used to be North Atlantic Treaty Organization, now it's just North American Terrorist Organization. And the EU, which, let's face it, they're completely useless, except for screwing things up even worse. Um, Russia is being blocked from sending these grains on their dime. Or I should say ruble, on their ruble. They were willing to cover the cost of sending grains from Russia to Africa and other poor nations that desperately need it. But of course, a certain individuals can't have that. I, you know what, I don't want to go too political. The fact is, there is a solution. And if we, as a human race, don't step up and demand that enough talk, and you father used to tell me that bullshit walk, money talks and bullshit walks. That's what he used to tell me, and he's right. And George R. Carlin also used to say if corporations could break in billions by solving homelessness and hunger they tend to go hand in hand sometimes it would be solved in an instant but because the corporations and the government cannot rake in billions of dollars by solving famine it will never be solved Unless you and I step up and demand that it be salt.